section of all things oyster at the annual New Orleans Oyster Festival. It's going on this weekend. Hopefully the weather holds out for those guys because that's a great festival. This morning, the festival committee member, Trey Reinhardt, is in with uh, Eric Cook. What a great name for a chef. I know. Tell you know, right. <laughs> your parents must have said, you know what, this is going to be good. He's the executive <laughs> chef at Dickie Brennan's Bourbon House, and uh, he's cooking up some oysters for us today. And, and uh, first of all, the weather is kind of a concern this weekend, but you'll hold it rain or shine. We'll hold it rain or shine, absolutely. And how's the oyster crop been this year? It's been good. I, I actually went out last week for the first time, went out to a boat and uh, learned a little bit about it and it's a pretty awesome process to watch those guys get out there and shuck the oyster or uh, uh, harvest the oysters yeah. and, and bring them into the boat and then bring them to the market. And, and for a chef, I mean, you know, Louisiana's nirvana for seafood. Nothing better. Nothing better in the world. Best natural resources on the whole planet. And so, so what's the secret to making a good oyster? I mean, the secret to making a good oyster is letting the oyster be the star of the show. You know, we try not to mask the flavor of the oyster because we are so lucky to have these amazing oysters. Yeah. Today I brought with us some really great uh, off-bottom farm-raised oysters from, uh, if you're down in Grand Isle, my friend, uh, uh, they're amazing. I mean, they're just... Your friend, you can't think of his name. I think Jules Molonson. <laughs> there you I go. Think, I didn't want to mess up his name. <laughs> Jules Molonson, a good friend of the, the restaurant, a good friend of the family. Uh, All right. And what are you making for us today? I assume oysters? Yeah. Well, today we're going to do something real simple. Two quick uh, presentations. We'll do uh, one of our favorites at the restaurant called the Oyster BLT, which yeah. is just... Uh, you know, really good uh, house-made bacon, um, some really good heirloom uh, tomato jam, uh, a little bit of micro arugula, some sugar cane vinegar. It's just a really great little bite. And then we're gonna do something simple you could do for the summer when it's hot outside. We'll do some just great raw oysters with some uh, watermelon, which you can yeah. do by itself off the farm, or make a little granita with a little local Cajun caviar and, and I some see fresh you got some, some, some stuff over there. We're gonna fry some oysters, right? We're gonna fry some oysters, and absolutely. Fry them, my favorite. That's the way to do it. We got some beautiful oysters. We're gonna fry them up, and we're gonna try them with this, these uh, local tomatoes. Thinking it'd be really and what's surprised. the biggest mistake people do when they fry oysters? I think a lot of people don't understand. The trick that I learned a long time ago was egg whites. If you use egg whites, separate your eggs, you know, your whites and your yolk, and whip those egg whites in frothy, and put your oysters in those egg whites before you uh, bread them, or whatever breading you want to do, corn okay. flour or seasoned flour, and you get a really great, amazing crisp on there. And it's then really how long do you fry them? Just until they turn golden? Super simple. I mean, you really want to, you know, people say, oh, wait till it floats. And but oysters, they kind of tell you when they're done. You hear them go in, they're not making a lot of noise, and then all of a sudden they make a lot of racket when they're frying, and then they kind of settle down. And once they settle down, it's when you want to get them out because you don't want to overcook them. And you guys have every Every variety of oyster recipe on the planet at the festival. We do. We have 20 restaurants out there and almost 50 di different dishes. Wow. And uh, how big of a fest has this gotten to be? I mean, we're looking at some stuff from from uh, year, years past. It, well, it's, it's gotten to be huge. Um, it's evolving over time, and I think that people are recognizing how important the oyster is uh, to our culture as well as our economic development. And people go out there and really enjoy it. And the amazing thing is, you know, the oysters are very a, a simple, simple animal, um, and, and it seems like there's only a couple of ways to make it, but. And New Orleans chefs have found hundreds of ways. So many ways, so many things you can do. And at the end of the day, I think, like you said, it's part of our culture now, you know, but uh, they're amazing. I mean, it's just, and the bottom line is, they're the star of the plate always. And when you just let them be the star of the plate, you win every time. And what's the biggest seller at, at, at the Oyster Fest? I assume fried oysters, po' boys, things like that? I, I think there's a little bit of everything. I, I think some people want to stay towards the cook side of it, but there's yeah. raw oysters out there. The charboil, everyone the, loves the, those. The yeah, exactly. are out there, but there's a lot of innovative ways to do it, too, and every dish is unique in its own character. And, and uh, what does it cost to get in the Oyster Fest? It's free. See, that's the best part. It, it is. And, and, you know, where I'd encourage people to come out is, uh, it is such a big part of our history and our culture. And come out and learn a little bit about it. And we, we actually have a really cool thing, the oyster eating contest. Yeah. So my last year, I ate 44 dozen oysters. <laughs> That's amazing. And, and how, I don't even know how to count that high. 44 dozen. Oh my how goodness. much time is that? I, I think they've got 10 minutes or... <laughs> That's a lot. Minutes, I it, I, 44 oysters is a dozen that's a, oysters. That's too many. The Oyster Festival is coming up tomorrow and Sunday. It goes on from 10 in the morning till 8 at night. They'll have oyster shucking competition, oyster eating competition, all kinds of stuff. Great food. It's at Waldenburg Park on the riverfront. There'll be some shelter in case it rains. A little bit. It shouldn't rain on the Oyster Festival. It won't. If you'd like more information about the Oyster Fest, we have it all on our, on our uh, website, WBLTV.com. Just click on links. Dave?